Hey, greetings everyone, it's Chris here. Hey, so uh, I think last week or a couple weeks ago we did a, a prepper challenge for Denny Moore Beef Stew. Uh, I, I like Denny Moore Beef Stew, I always have. It, does, uh, it looks a little grim coming right out of the can, but once you heat it up and apply some, some heat to it, 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 it looks good and it tastes good too. So even Denny Moore from six years ago held up pretty well to the taste challenge. My wife said it tasted a little tinny to her, but I didn't pick any of that up. I won't claim to have the sharpest uh, taste buds on the planet. But today we're going to try something a little more tricky. So in addition to uh, having preparations that include Denny Moore beef stew, I also have uh, a fair amount of canned fruit. And I've always been a little bit concerned about canned fruit because, uh, so what I've read, uh, the literature that's online tells you that sometimes it's the, it's the acidic qualities of the food inside the can that uh, contribute to the degrading of the, the can itself, which can degrade the quality of the food inside it. So I have today some canned mangoes that are, their expire by date was April 2013, which means they were probably produced, I don't know, somewhere in the 2010, 2011 time frame. So they were produced about 10 years ago with the, due, the best used by date being seven years ago. So they're seven years out of date by the can itself. I'm going to show the can. We're going to look at it. We're going to run it through a basic taste test and see how it turns out. So uh, stick around. Uh, you'll be able to check out how some seven-year-old mangoes fresh out of the can are going to taste, smell, look. You're going to get, all, get to see all of that. So hang tight and enjoy. Okay, so here we have the specimen for today. This is, let's see, this is Libby's Tropical Sliced Mango. I believe I bought this in a pack from Costco, right? It's in light syrup. Sounds delicious. I like mangoes. Okay, if we're looking for the, the used by date, um, it's on the top here. And they just stamped right over the little pin so it says... Best used by, um, see if we can get in the light here, 2013. It's kind of hard to read on the, with the glare of the lights. But there it is, bottom line, best used by April 2013, if you can read it. Anyway, it's good stuff. So, as I noted in my last video, you know, there are some telltale signs if you're considering eating food that, and I'm not advocating that you eat food that is beyond its uh, approved shelf life, but, you know, in a pinch, I might. So, I am going to test this for myself. And they say to look for bloated cans, right? This one appears to be in great shape. It's just been sitting in the dark, cool place for the last 10 years, so hasn't seen too much stress. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pop this thing open one-handed. And oftentimes a bloated can will also release you know, a, a whooshing sound when you open it. Oh, this one did not. We'll pop it open. Okay. So uh, it passed the first test, and I'm not pick up, picking up any smells. Going to load this into a bowl, and we're going to take a closer look at it, and then ultimately it will have to pass the taste test as well. Okay, we're back. So we've emptied the contents of the bowl into, or in uh, the contents of the uh, can into the bowl. Now, I'm not an expert on mangoes. Well, I do eat a fair of them, so maybe I am an expert, but I like mangoes. We often eat the fresh ones. I poured the contents, the whole of the can, into the bowl. So I'm looking at it. There's no smell coming out of it. I will say as I'm picking at the, the mangoes, they do seem a little more tender. So I can shred the mango, the flesh of it, very easily. Right, so it seems like it's broken down a little bit. Again, no bad smells. Um, it smells just like you'd expect canned mangoes to smell. So, uh, at this point, there's really only one thing to do, and that is to 
take the taste test. So I've got a fork so that I can pick up the mango and then I've also got a spoon so that I can try some of the syrup, see how that tastes, if there's different tastes involved. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, I've been waiting years for this one moment. Very curious to see how fruit would hold up over time. So the first bite of mango, oh, and it, it breaks apart very easily. Tastes delicious. The texture, it dissolves almost instantly. Hey, which may not be a bad thing for you. If you got sore teeth, for instance, this would be a delight. Mmm, very good. So the flesh of the mango dissolves, it just dissolves. The syrup, which has a little bit of mango flesh in it, yeah, it's exactly what you'd expect. Uh, syrup from a, fr a fruit, a jarred, or a canned fruit. Mm, which I find delightful. Mm. Yep, a bigger piece of mango. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, I'll eat the whole bowl. So there's no question this is good. Uh, I might make a video several hours later <laughs> updating if, if things don't go well, as my wife suggests. But upon first pass, I would definitely give this a pass. This would hold up. This is uh, it's consumable. It's edible. It's been on my shelf for at least seven years, much longer actually, well, probably at least 10 years was my guess. Um, I don't have a great inventory control system for my preps, but this does all right. Mm. All right, again, Libby uh, canned mangoes expired on uh, best used by April of 2013. Taste delicious. The, the flesh of the mango is broken down a little bit, but it looks, it, looks identi it looks identical to, you know, one you'd pull right off the shelf today. It does, the flesh breaks down a little bit, but I think you could count this edible, right? And uh, I'll be curious in another five to 10 years, run the same test on the rest of the pack, because this was a multi-pack. I think there's eight to a pack. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, love to hear comments, love to hear uh, your, the results of your own tests if you've done similar things. So uh, as always, take care. We'll see you next time.